Welcome to another soothing watercolor painting video. In today's video, I will take you through my process of creating a beautiful watercolor painting without having to do any sketching. Hi, I'm Nikita and I'm an artist and on this channel, I bring you all things related to art. From unboxing and reviewing art supplies to tutorials of various art forms and mediums and general discussions about art. Today my canvas is set with an A4 sheet watercolour paper of 300 GSM, some of my travel palettes from Prima Watercolours, my ceramic palettes, some round brushes and a cup of water. So during the summer of this year, I had visited a beautiful place along with a friend in Chennai called uh, Marzam Village Resort. This is just outskirts of Chennai and here there was a beautiful Vespa scooter which caught my fancy. So today I decided to paint that scooter with a little twist that will happen uh, towards the end. So stay tuned to watch that. I decided that I will paint directly on the sheet today without any sketching. This is my absolute favorite style of painting and it gives me so much peace. This practice is also very good for your hand-eye coordination. When you're doing this style of painting, the first step is to always mix the lightest version of the colors and then start blocking out the main shapes, which I'm doing right now, with a light tone of green and a matching closest to my reference image. Now here, an important thing is you don't have to match your reference image exactly in terms of the size, shape and colors. Use your reference image as a base and just go with the flow of where your mind and heart takes you. Always use only photographs as reference images and never a painting because that would end up just confusing you and you will create the same style as another artist and you will never be able to develop your own style. It's imperative to slowly understand what your style is and what your voice is and just stick to that. This will come over time with lots and lots of practice. I haven't put a real-time video over here as it may be a bit too slow but if you enjoy such videos do leave a comment here and I will plan for those. While using watercolors remember to always go from light to dark. Your story will slowly come to life with each layer. I love how a blank canvas first converts into blobs of colors and then slowly starts taking form and shape and finally the entire artwork just pops out. Most of my base colors are done and you can see the artwork coming to life with just the lighter shades. Time now to add the darker shades to create a clearer picture. You can choose to end your artwork at this stage and not go ahead. It is completely up to the artist to decide when the painting is done. Today I have chosen to do the darker shades with my brush. Generally my usual style is to use ink and mapping nib to create an outline. Sometimes I like to mix it up because it helps me to get very different results. The magic is always in the details. When I add the headlight, the contrast helps the entire artwork to pop up and it is very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Watch out for these details in the next piece that you create.
Now that my scooter is ready, time to add the magical element. I decided to go out of my comfort zone and add a little something out of my usual style here. Normally, I would leave the painting finished at this stage, but today I decided to add a character here to add to the story. Currently, there's no story behind this except that I like this Vespa, but now by adding a little cat peeping from behind, the painting is open to so many interpretations. It adds a zing element and makes it very, very exciting. I'm again going to be painting the cat directly as I don't want to change the style. I'm so glad I went out of my comfort zone and decided to do something different. The result is very calming, soothing and I cannot wait to frame and hang this in my studio. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I hope you enjoyed it.